Ali the Rock, aka Wolf Rock, aka Ali's Kitchen. Got it all covered on this one. Um, so today I wanted to give you guys a little bit of feedback of what is going to be going on for the next couple of months. A lot of things are going to be going on. I got a lot of plans um, for food wise is concerned. I got a couple of cooking uh, live streams that I'll be doing as well. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, but today I wanted to give you guys a, a little bit uh, of information. Number one is I have uh, actual video cameras that are coming so we can actually video camera the uh, kitchen a little bit better so we can get up close on some of the things that we're going to be cooking with and some of the items that we're going to be using. I'm trying to make it a little bit more user friendly for uh, for me when I use uh, when I do these videos. Today I wanted to give you guys, um, oh and by the way when the camera gets here, which by the way tomorrow is my birthday and so we, I'm um, hoping that it'll come between, it says it's supposed to be here between the 22nd and 24th. So as soon as it gets here, I'll do an un, uh, PO box un, uh, reveal of the camera that I'll be using. So I'm pretty excited about the camera that's coming um, as well. But today I want to give you a little bit of a, a little bit of kitchen tip that um, I found this out about several, well, several years ago I've been doing this. And it has been one of the best tricks that I found when it comes to cereal. Um, and I, I love cereal. One of my favorite ones that it's not sponsored by this this particular company, but I wanted to show you guys. I love these cereals, especially this that particular brand. But one of the things that I hated about cereal is this right here. And this is what I'm talking about. See that right there? See how that this is just it doesn't close right. Um, and if you tip it, it does open, and it will open, and it cereal go all over the place. And it's just not a good thing because a lot of times you have this right here, right? Uh, what I like to do with my cereals is actually just go fold it over and kind of do one of these creases and then just drop it back in the box. And some people take it out of the box and they put it into another container, which is, I think, the best way. But for some of us that don't, there is another solution that I think is the greatest hack ever when it comes to these cereal boxes. All right. So one of the things that I've learned and by doing this is... Um, if you open up the box completely like this, just like you see it, so that it's like that, take the ends, so like right here, if you fold it inside like this and do the other side the same way like that, so it's pinched, so it looks like a little V, so when you look on the inside, see how it's like a V like that? That's kind of what you want, right? Then take one of the sides that you have opened and flip it in the inside, so it looks like this. I don't know if you can see that. So see how it's flipped in like that, right? Then this right here, when you flip it, when you flip it down like this, take this and flip it on the inside and just like that. Oh, wait, I did it backwards. It's this way. Not that it matters, but I bent when I tested it out, I bent the box. Not a good idea. But anyway, but that's what you get. You get a closed seal container like that. And uh, look, this has been the best thing ever. Uh, I, I really love it. You can do that with a cracker boxes. You can do that with any boxes. Um, this is the one I'm almost done with, but uh, I love the fact that nothing comes out. It, it's so much easier to close and it's guaranteed to stay closed too because it's flipped on the inside of the crease and so the boxes doesn't even open up at all, which is awesome. One of the things that I've learned about cereal boxes and other boxes, um, there's always a way to make it a little bit easier for you guys to actually uh, keep and preserve boxes. Now you could, and I love these, this is a good trick. These little clips like this, right? See how these little, little clips like that, right? You can actually take this and actually if you, they're just cheap and expensive. You can get these at a dollar store. You can get like 10 for a dollar. I mean, they're really cheap. It is actually when you have it closed like this, if you want to go one step further, you can actually just do that little number and then put it in the box and it does the same trick. So just a little trick to the trade that I think is really important. Nice little uh, tip. A lot of people, I wish they would have told me this a long time ago. Um, I would have used it a long time ago. It works on any size box. It works on crackers. It works on even stuff like, like this, this mac and cheese brand wise, right? Um, this is kind of a brand that we have in our in our area. But um, we'll be talking about this in the near future about 
mac and cheese and how to make it. There is uh, so many ways to make mac and cheese. Oh my God, there is a, a recipe that I'm gonna share with you guys that it, it involves Cheetos and mac and cheese. We'll talk about that uh, in the next couple of videos. I will post on our community page, on, on, our, on our YouTube page, if you uh, watch the community page, um, the tab that says discussion, there should be a place that you can actually see the comments that I put on there because we'll be talking a lot about that will be also another place that I will post like uh, special recipes and things of that nature. The month of March, um, the whole month of March, we're going to be talking about desserts. The reason why I love desserts, that's one of my favorite subjects besides burgers, but desserts is a really good one. That's the reason why I said I have a lot going on. We're going to be cooking and baking a lot of different desserts that are one of my favorites. Uh, the very first one that we're going to be doing is called Jello Cake. Um, now, Jello Cake is one of my, uh, not my all-time favorites, but definitely one that I really enjoy. So we'll be doing that soon, and so catch us with that. But this is going to be a, an extra episode a little bit later on. Also, in the comments below, let me know what you guys wanted us to do for a challenge. I do have one that's coming up on uh, not this coming Monday, but the following Monday. Like I said, I'm waiting for my camera. It should be here in a couple of days. But it's going to be the Popeye's Spicy uh, Barbecue, or is it Barbecue Chicken? And uh, um, uh, Chick-fil-A's Spicy uh, chicken that they have so we're gonna do both I've never had neither one so uh, we're gonna check that out that's gonna be a good challenge for me to, to, to sample and taste and that'll give you guys an idea of how well they taste and then um, also one last thing um, on the 27th uh, we're gonna be doing a special live um, at a special restaurant that is uh, for a uh, kind of an anniversary gift to myself and the wife. So I'm looking forward to sharing that with you guys. Uh, it's a special restaurant that we go to uh, once a year. So if you guys don't know um, that I am married, that you guys won't, you won't see her because she doesn't like the camera, but you will get a chance to see the restaurant. There's so much in this restaurant that um, I wanna share with you guys. It is one of my favorite restaurants to go to. It has some of the top-notch service. It has the best uh, quality of food that we are, were looking for uh, during that time when we kind of celebrate an anniversary. And it's been our place that we go to a lot. So I'll share that with you guys as well. It'll be a, um, I don't know if I'll do it as a live or if I'll do it as a recording and do some editing and then uh, bring it off to you guys. So very excited about that. Um, and that's it. We'll catch you guys next time. As always, thank you so much for supporting this channel. Don't forget to comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for our channel down there. It'll be somewhere over here. There'll be like a little thing that you can click on right there. <laughs> and then don't forget to put uh, your notification bell so you know when I'll post a new video. As soon as I get my camera and we got it up and running, um, I've decided to do uh, two videos a week for right now until I see the demand and that people want to see it more often. And then... Um, also, I will be doing a lot of polls on the next, uh, this coming Monday, you'll start seeing some polls that I'll be dropping for future challenges and also your uh, comments as far as what challenge we should do next on Mondays. So Mondays, every Monday will be Monday challenge. We'll be doing challenges continuously on Mondays of different things from uh, tasting different foods, uh, going to places that we've never gone to, to things like that. And we'll be covering a lot of it. Like I said, I have... I got a lot going on that is going to be so amazing uh, that we're going to be doing. But like I said, I'm waiting for my camera. And as soon as my camera gets here, I'll do a, a video on unboxing the camera and all the stuff that comes with the camera. So I'm very, very excited um, to, ex to kind of share it with you guys because you guys are part of my family. And uh, as we say in this channel, let's dive in because that's what we're all about. We're going to be diving into food in a big, big, big way. We're talking about... Uh, from ingredients to uh, where, it, where it came from. Um, I still got my coffee one coming up here shortly. You'll see that in about a week. Uh, kind of discussing a little bit about what coffee and what coffee really is as far as from the bean, where it's made, how it's picked, to really the flavor of coffee, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, I will show you my uh, machine that I have. Actually, I have three different types of coffee uh, apparatus that I use uh, from the traditional uh, the kind of brewing machines that I had. I can't use it anymore because we've switched to a gas range 
uh, we used to have, I mean, to, we switched to a, a electric range to what we used to have was a gas range, which I'm very sad because I really love the gas. It cooks a lot better than the electric. Personally, myself, it's a personal choice. And uh, I will show you uh, my latte machine that I have as well. Uh, there's so much that we're going to cover, and I'm very excited to share it with you guys. So come aboard. Let me know in the comments uh, if two videos a week sounds good. And also, if you have any other comments that you guys want to make about uh, what we should do next as well. Make sure that you guys focus on the discussion tab as well, because I'll be posting a lot on that on there as well, because that's a place that you and I can talk um, outside of the video comments. So please make sure to take the time. Take five minutes and just go check it out. And uh, I hope this was very helpful uh, because let me tell you, this right here, this little hack right here, I wish I would have known a long time ago. It would have saved me a lot of headache on cereal boxes because I hated I hated the tops. Hated it with a passion uh, because it didn't really fit with the, uh, with the box and it always just popped open and it just kept popping open. Yeah, I didn't like it. Anyway, we'll catch you guys next time. Let's dive in and we'll see you on the next episode of Ali's Kitchen.